It's not that little bit more that makes you a winner. It's that little bit less that causes an impact to improve and make you a winner. I started out in life some 70 years ago with a massive debt to pay. The debt was to my father who felt that my discipline wasn't what it should be and as a result the penalty was that I had to teach children to swim every afternoon at the local town pool for free. The first child that I taught to swim, he was a thalidomide child and the reward for me of watching this little boy struggle and fight adversity to finally be able to swim 50 metres of the pool was fantastic. I knew from that day onwards that I was going to have a life of teaching or a passion for a commitment to a cause. I went on to be head coach of three different countries and work on the national teams of seven different countries. Well, I've coached 11 Olympics where I've had a medalist at every Olympics. At 30 years of age, I suffered a catastrophic road accident. My leg was virtually cut off. It resulted in major surgery. That created a, a procession of hardship and battles that I had to fight all my life. I've lived with the results of that accident ever since. I feel, and my wife and many people who know me feel that the accident made me a better person and certainly made me a better coach. My accident taught me perseverance, stay with my passion, work with good, best and right people and be unwilling to compromise. My style of coaching went from a, a very driven, this is what you've got to do, this is how you've got to do it and this is when you've got to do it. It's about asking questions. Do you think that's the best way to do things? Do you think that's the right way to go? For me, it's a matter of training the physical to match the fitness of the brain. I tell athletes, I will never ever be your best friend but I will always be your best supporter. Belief. That has got me through the medical crisis many, many times. And if you can give belief to young people, then you've done a hell of a job as a coach. Some accident actually helped me. In order to be an effective and an efficient coach, you have to have the ability to inspire. You have to dare to be different. You have to take the untrodden path. You must embrace education and experience, and in doing so, you will bring about change and improvement.